Hello, it is Jackson and Ayla Brown here with David Lee Murphy at the Grant. Man, you just killed it. He just played for everybody. Uh, your stories, your music, your energy, so good. What a crowd. I mean, I had a, I've been looking forward to coming up here all week and the snow and the cold weather and the ice. <laughs> That's such a lie. And You've not been looking forward to doing I have any two. of that. I have no. too, Ella. You know I have. All right. Well, we appreciate but, you coming to Boston. Yeah, he, you, you had to do a lot. Yeah, yeah. What was so cool was this crowd was rocking tonight and oh. it was really fun and, and it was a pleasure to be here. What do you think was the best part of the crowd? Do you think it was a specific song or the energy or just the fact that we love our sports teams and our country music? Well, you love your sports teams and your country music, and that's that's really something that I love and I, I admire, like towns that love their teams and they Hi. stick by them. But just the crowd was great, and we, we just had a great time playing music and singing along, and uh, it was a blast. Everybody was singing along. And since you do love football, um, and you did throw the Pats name out there a little bit, I want your pick for Super Bowl. What, what do you Give oh. me the score. What, what do you think? What, how's it going to go? I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, actually. But um, by the Patriots, I do think the Patriots are going to win. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I'm not he just did not clarify <laughs> who's going to score. Things. No, I I think it's going to be. Um, I think it's going to be 35-31 Patriots. We'll take it as long All as right. it's a W. We're good. We got you on that um, one. What do you think about playing a room like that? So, do you prefer? The intimate setting like that, or do you prefer being in front of thousands and thousands and thousands of people? Well, I mean, the, I mean, like right there, I had people sitting, standing right in front of me singing, and I could look them right in the eye, mm. and that's what's really fun. And uh, I mean, I I gotta say, uh, going out there with Gillette is is not bad, yeah. Yeah. but. Uh, there's something really special and intimate to be able to stand up there with just a guitar and play your songs and look at everybody when you're singing them and talk to everybody while you're doing I mean, literally talk to everybody right in the front. And you did. Like, man, there was times where I mean. Calling people out, too. I, I, I caught eyes with you a couple of times while you were singing, and I was like, oh, he oh shoot, man. <laughs> and then that dude that you let hold your guitar while you took your jacket off, that guy was like, oh, my God, David Lee Murphy's guitar. What am I doing here? <laughs> it's all fun, man. I mean. That's just that's just part of it. Just uh, it's having fun. I mean, we play music. We're fortunate. I'm fortunate. I get to play music for a living, man. I, I, I every day I'm thankful and grateful that I get to play music for a living. And and um, so you're blessed with that voice too, man. Like yeah. it's it's so strong. It's your voice is just. I I've never seen you live. I'm not gonna lie. Like that was the first time. And that I'm a huge fan. That was unbelievable. Thank you. What I love are the stories behind the songs. Like, as a songwriter, it was really touching to hear some of the stories. But have there been any songs that you've written that you wish you had kept for yourself? That like, Or were you just happy to be a part of the process? All of those songs that I played, <laughs> I wish I'd have kept for myself. That's what no, I mean. No, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. But the thing is, uh, uh, like, you, you're, you're not always in a position to put a song out. Yeah. And uh, whenever you write a song, it's just like... Uh, like the Kip Moore song that was just out, Last Shot. Kip yeah. and I wrote that with a, with uh, Dan Couch. We just wrote we wrote that song together one day. And I hear that, I go, damn, I wish I'd have had that. And then, like, yeah. uh, there's a couple of songs on Luke's new album I wish I'd have had for mine. There's a song on Jason's new album I wish I'd have had. There's one on Thomas Rhett's record I wish I'd have had. Um, but I, I write songs, and I just love writing songs, and sometimes somebody else cuts them. But yeah. all of those ones that are hits, I wish. I wish they were, <laughs> yeah, you've also I had hits. Mine. So I wish they were mine. What is your secret to writing then? Like, cause you you've written so many damn hits. Like, what? <laughs> how do you get to that frame of mind? Honest to God, I don't know, man. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just I love to play music and I listen to things that people say and I I listen to um, movies and. I mean, like I told the story about you gonna kiss me or not. It's like I heard that on a movie. This, the the phrase, "Are you gonna kiss me or not?" And um, and then we wrote that song. And I, I guess it just there's just a thing about music of uh, just singing a song and singing it to where like you sing it and and it makes sense. So I think that's why it connects. Was the movie The Notebook? Are you gonna? 
Are you gonna kiss me or not? <laughs> Honest to goodness, I can't. I can't. I don't even know if I've seen a Notebook. So maybe it wasn't that one. Uh, maybe it was like another probably, romantic like comedy that I'm thinking of. <laughs> it could have been the Notebook, but <laughs> I, I, I don't re usually make it very far through the movies. <laughs> Without crying, me too. I know. You so you have seen the Notebook? Not that I can. You, know. <laughs> you seem way too manly for it. What? What is the? How about? How can I? How do I phrase this? What do you like to watch? What's your guilty pleasure? How about that? Like a guilty pleasure. Smokey and the Bandit or like uh, all the Clint Eastwood movies. I mean, I watched a Sam. I mean, I watched a Bruce Lee movie the yes. other day. I mean, it's... I Have you cried at a movie before? I, I cried at Enter the Dragon, the Bruce Lee movie. Oh, yeah. wow. It was emotional. I'm <laughs> I cry very end, literally the everything. The Bruce Lee Jackson and I have no, had this teasing. conversation yeah. on air where, like, I will just, I don't get it. Maybe it's my touching heart. I don't know what it is, but I'm, like, bawling at, well, maybe it's a girl thing. I don't know. But I cry I get at 30-second commercials. It takes me, as soon as that music <laughs> score comes in, it's oh, like, Oh, it's all about the music. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate it. No, you just judged you. me. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did No, not at all. I did. If he didn't, I did. <laughs> Hey, well, we thank you very much for coming out, especially making the ride to get yes, here and everything. Thank we you appreciate so it. so much. It awesome. It's great to be here. Thanks for the Boston hospitality. Yeah. Right. David Lee Murphy here at the Grand Country 1025.